What's going on Aries? My name is Vince, this is 7D Tarot. Aries, today I'm gonna to pull your money and career energy, your love energy. I'll see who's coming and going and if there's any travel on the horizon. Now, if you have a certain amount of money you'd like to manifest or if you have a specific person in mind, you can go ahead and like this video and subscribe. And if you are interested in scheduling your own personal reading with me, all the info you need is in the description box below. Now, for a totally fresh perspective, you can check out my wife's channel over at Empath Tarot and stay tuned till the end of your reading while we'll pull your affirmation for today and your spirit animal. All right, so let's dive right in. See what we got going on for you. Wow, okay, so source is telling you, you are a very powerful magnet and you attract what you emit, right? This is so important. Like attracts like, law of attraction, attraction-based universe, quantum physics, quantum entanglement has proven that when you think something, you feel it, when you feel it, that is your reality. How you think and how you feel creates your state of being, your state of being creates your reality. So right now, if you're waiting for something and it hasn't happened yet, and you're saying, why is it not happen? When is it gonna happen? Where is this gonna take place? How is this gonna take place? That is all resistance, right? You're just pushing it farther away. Right now, the only thing that you have control over is your thoughts. You don't control any of that other stuff. Like you don't control the weather, you don't control traffic. So right now you control your thoughts. So right now source is telling you that this is a great time to be exercising a will greater than the programming and no longer be waiting for something, but actually make it happen for yourself. So what does that really mean? Right now, you are a very powerful being, right? You're high frequency, high energy being. And right now the universe will 100% rearrange itself to match your beliefs. So when you change your beliefs, now the universe will rearrange itself to match that energy. So what does that really mean? Right now, your angels and guides, nothing would make them happier than to see you rich and with your soulmate, to see you healthy and see you happy. In order for that to happen, they need direction, clear and concise image. A lot of times we tend to think the universe knows best, so the universe will deliver. Universe is like a business partner, that partner that takes care of the money, takes care of the networking, but it needs the idea from you, right? This is a free will life. This is your your journey, right? Your movie right now. You are the star. So right now, imagine like the spirit is the director, the producer, the cast, but you are the one that has to show up on set and you need to write the script as well. And the script really means knowing what you're looking for and matching your emotions to that expectation. So for example, like you're like, I wanna meet my soulmate. I want them to be blonde hair, blue eyes, brunette, this tall, this short. I want them to make this much money like cats, like dogs, have kids, been divorced, whatever. I want to meet them at the park, right? When you know what you're looking for, then the universe can deliver. So right now your angels and gods are telling you that it will change. The universe will change its, you know, complete destiny that you have to match your beliefs. It will reshape itself. So really match your beliefs to your expectations. Now you got the 10 of cups and the sun. So this goes to show that anything you touch is gonna to turn into gold the moment they use your appreciation because appreciation is the shortcut to your manifestation. Appreciation, appreciation is the shortcut to your manifestation every single time. I'll give an example. Like imagine you went to a restaurant and then it's the best restaurant in town. When you get there, there's a huge lineup. And then rather than stand in line for an hour, imagine you could walk up to the front and everyone would cheer you on to go in and even the owner invites you in. Wouldn't that be great? Now imagine in order to do that, all you had to do is wait in the line rather than be like, oh, I can't believe I have to wait an hour. Tell yourself, I am so grateful to even get in the restaurant. Appreciation, appreciation works every single time, guys. You never have to worry. If you want something to happen in your life, all you have to do is be appreciative and grateful and then it happens. So right now I'll give you an example. Rather than be like, oh, I can't believe that I didn't get you know the promotion at work, which is lack and all that scarcity doesn't feel good. Tell yourself, I am grateful I have a job. I am grateful that I even have the opportunity to create wealth. I am grateful that I have clothes to wear, food to eat. You know, I'm grateful to even live in a country where I'm able to even get a promotion. And by doing that, now the cheat codes activated, the secret sauce, and now the opportunity of wealth will come into your life. And there's definitely a major opportunity of wealth because you got the Ace of Pentacles and the Page of Pentacles. Both of these are letting you know that there's new opportunities of money entering your life very soon here. And right now, the key to this manifestation is believing and allowing believing and allowing. This is so, so, so important. What does that mean? You wanna believe in it, but you have to allow it. That's the thing that us humans tend to not do. You know, like we don't allow the universe to do its job. And I'll give you an example. Allowing means not second guessing the who, what, when, where, how. How am I gonna meet my soulmate? When am I gonna meet my soulmate? Why, why, where am I gonna meet my soulmate? You have no control over that. You don't control the weather, you don't control the traffic, and you don't control who, what, when, where, how. Like for example, I met my wife at a birthday party at a time where I did not want to date anyone. I I was just like, well, I'm free. I can't wait to just be myself. And then next thing you know, boom, I met her. Best thing 
never happened to me 14 years ago. So right now, source is letting you know, the only thing you have control over is your energy, how you feel. Allow the universe to do its job. The way you really do it is you visualize something you want, short five second clip. Like for example, like imagine you want a promotion, you would visualize your boss saying, congratulations Aries, you got the job. Congratulations, you got the job. Congratulations, you got the job. And at that point, once you do that 10 times, take your mind, put it somewhere else. Focus on something else because when you focus on something else, you're no longer thinking of what you don't have, but what you're thinking of what you are going to get, right? Or you're focused on something like else. So for example, rather than if you want love, focus on money. If you want money, focus on health. If you want health, focus on, you know, a hobby, but just keep switching up the mind state, right? Keep it fresh and you'll never cause resistance. And that's really the only thing that prevents things from happening because you got the moon, you got the seven of swords, there's some drifting going on and the drifting is only happening because you're not feeling good. And right now, remember feeling good first and your manifestation will follow is the recipe. You got to feel good first, then and your manifestation will follow. What does that really mean? Unless you feel good, nothing will happen. When you feel good, that magnetic energy is very, very compounded, very, very um, strong, very, very empowering, right? But if you don't feel good, it's not gonna happen. Like I'll give an example. Like if you stay up for 24 hours, good luck meditating, you'll fall asleep. If you eat 10 pizzas, good luck connecting to source, right? Because you'll be digesting. So it really comes down to feeling good first. For me, like I hate rushing. Whenever I rush, I don't feel good. So right now I make sure that I don't, I'm not like rushing to get in the car so I don't drop my phone. I'm not rushing to get to anywhere I need to go so I don't spill coffee or anything, right? I start drinking green tea, I cut off the coffee, guys. Oh man, it was too acidic, but I love coffee. I love coffee so much. But you know, I gotta take a little break to get back. But with that being said, your angels are telling you that there are many, many things that they want to help you and guide you with, but you gotta get, you gotta feel good because the better you feel, the more you allow. The better you feel, the more you allow. And right now, they're also telling you that alignment trumps action. Alignment trumps action. So get in alignment first and then take action. And that's the thing that everyone kind of like, they put the cart before the horse. They start doing stuff, right? Before they take action, before getting in alignment. And I'll give you an example. Like for example, if you are not in alignment and you make a decision, chances of that decision being wrong are really high. When the decision is wrong, when it's made out of fear, it usually goes south, it doesn't go well. Now, when that happens, you're worse off than you first started, right? So for example, imagine if you wanted to get a promotion, you weren't in alignment, so you had fear in your body, and then you went to your boss and said, if I don't get a promotion, I quit. Fear-based decision, not gonna go well. But imagine if you weren't in alignment, you felt good, so the next time you spoke to your boss, you said, I love this company, I wanna be here for 10 years, I think that by getting a promotion, it will raise my team morale, wink, 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 catch you later. Much, much better shot, right? So right now, Source is telling you, get in alignment first, right? Now, do the things that make you feel good. Follow your passion. Listen and, and really be creative. Use your imagination, right? Learn stuff. Eat good foods. Whatever it is that makes you feel good, wake up early. And then by being in alignment, everything will work itself effortless for you and you won't have to force anything. And it's really that forcing stuff that makes things difficult. But by getting in alignment, it makes it much, much more effortless. All right, now this is a great segue into your affirmation of the day, guys. When everyone writes this down as a collective in the comment section, it becomes extremely powerful, right? So right now, write the following affirmation in the comment section. It's about love. Love is happiness, peace, and joy. I want you to write down, I am a love magnet. That's it. I am a love magnet. When you're doing this, really feel the power going through you. Take in all the good juju, good vibrations, good fortune, good luck, good energy, good karma, all of it. I am a love magnet. Write that down in the comment section. Everyone together, remember to soak in the energy as you do it. Really feel that power, guys. It's like everyone meditating at the same time. All right, Aries, now check this out. Your animal spirit is moth spirit. Look at the message, surrender now. Surrender now. It means let go to receive, right? You have to surrender to the fact that the universe loves you. You have to surrender to the fact that this is a friendly universe that wants to see you happy, that you have angels and guides here to help you. A lot of times us empaths, we're always so worried about letting go, right? We're worried about getting hurt. We're worried about, you know, we have trust issues. And right now your angels and guides are telling you, do not worry, do not feel like you are alone. Your angels have your back. They love you, but they, you have to you have to allow them to help you, right? You really got to trust them and you trust them by trusting yourself. And right now by focusing your awareness on really letting go of things you don't have control over, that is the first step. So remember, you don't control anything in this world other than your reaction, other than your thoughts, other than your beliefs. You don't control anything that happens in the outer world. Thank goodness, it'd be too much responsibility. Focus your awareness inwards and everything, your, your outer world will be a reflection of your inner world.
All right, I hope you enjoyed your reading. Hope there was a message in here for you. If there was, like this video and subscribe. I truly appreciate you. Till next time, follow your passion.